Yo, what's good? <clears throat> Yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, they be wildin' and I'm back in on another reaction. We got Target manager busted stealing $2,000 from her job in one day. Now, we finna get right into this. What's it about? Make sure I run the likes up, man. Shout out to A Matter of Crime. And without further ado, let's get it. We've all wanted that big promotion at work, a position that signifies trust and loyalty within the company. However, at a local Target store, a woman who was recently promoted to a manager position had different plans. On her first day on the job, she decided to steal money from multiple registers she was responsible for. Here's what happened next. Had you already interviewed her about it? Yes, Had she is denying the entire thing. Okay. When officers arrived, the loss prevention officer explained that almost $2,000 had gone missing in a single day. The manager in charge of clearing the registers was denying ever stealing, but what she didn't know was that Target had 4K CCTV cameras. And her drawers were short every day? 4K, you call oh, 4K, that is over with. That's a shortage was there. Okay. How were you aware, made aware of this? So I'm made aware of this every time a team member opens their register drawer, mm -hmm. um, it flags in the system okay. that it's not for sale. Um, and as well as I review the closing caches have been, been closing. I review all of our closing cash operations regularly. Um, while I was reviewing, we were missing a cash bag, an entire bag. Um, and we were trying to find out where it went. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm just gonna start reviewing video uh, on the tool. And on the 20th, I found that both bags were put there, but then I watched the phone number go over to another register and go back to that register okay. and can see the cash. I'll show you that initial video, but this is the one I clicked on first. There's our team number there. And I have a better picture of the face shot. Then coincide. You're good. You're good. It coincide time-wise, but this this is a nice clear zoom in over the top shot. Okay. Can you pause that for some Yes. Okay. Cool. So, um, so we're going to just review a video it's real quick. Okay. It's, it's, it's great. Okay. Can you just make sure she doesn't try to walk out? Yeah. All right. She's probably going to be a 15, Chris. So. So we're looking at ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, and hundreds, mm -hmm. or in the last right room. It's a, a little bit more video because I got the whole process. But. So you combine the fifties and hundreds in the far right. Mm -hmm. Is that how every register is supposed to be? That's no. the standard, yeah. she does is she takes all of the money out of the register um, and once she has it all out she fans it all out and then you can see the left side which would be the larger bills are because she's setting it up that way she'll take uh, multiple what looks like on the low end to be three okay so we went with three now is this common for a cashier to sit here and pull all the money out at the cash register and count it and then typically they should just take it all out bang 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 and put it in one of those bags so they're not usually counting it at the yeah, register they don't right? count at the register we have a cash office and a machine that counts it okay so smaller bills on top bigger bills on the bottom she definitely wanted to get caught because i don't get it right people are every job well i'm gonna just say so this is a target so like target walmart sam's club whatever all these grocery stores or whatever retail stores they have multiple cameras they definitely gonna have cameras right over you at a cash register that's bottom line just in case for your safety and for their safety as well so for you to sit there boldly to take money out count it I guess and pocket it that Loki tells me you want her to be caught I don't know that it just don't make no sense at that point. What you thought the cameras wasn't working that day or something? <laughs> um, in the order that she pulled it off from. Right there, rolls it up, puts a rubber band on it, sets it on top, puts that mic. If you had a choice, would you rather pay six dollars for this sleep tracker app in the app store? Or would you rather down a little phone thing on top of it? Puts the remainder of the money in the bag. Those are coupons that are manufactured coupons. Those get processed as well. Okay. She then rebanks the register with the money that's supposed to go in there, all the way to the left. The 
place the bag on top, that's standard. Places that bag into the cart, and then she comes back and retrieves both her phone and the money that's underneath the bag. Right there. Into the right part. But this is her going over to that same ridge here. I, it's just a different camera angle, so you can see that it's positive identification of her doing it. Are these 360 cams? Is that how you're able to move it? or um, is it I can move only certain cameras. They are 360. Uh -huh. um, I was live here watching this from my office. Okay. That's how I was able to zoom in and get that real clear, clean, clear shot. But this is a similar video. You can kind of see her do it here, but the top one's the best one. It's just another angle. Okay. okay, so is this common for her to go from register to register to take the money out and put it in the bag and bring it to you guys? or is it We have a team member that typically does it. Um, whether it's her or another team member, it's typical practice. They go register, register, take the money out, put it in the bags, put it in this cart, mm -hmm. and where it locks into the cart. And then so the cash this box. is what she was assigned to do that. At that at that point. Yep, and, okay. I'm going to review cash. I was actually looking for a missing bag, one of these green bags was missing. So I'm like reviewing days worth of video trying to find the bag. But I still haven't found it. Um, and then I saw her do this on one of the, the camera shots I was looking at. I'll show you which one that is. That's on the twentieth at ten thirty or ten twenty four PM. I was just curious. Yeah, no. It's, it's really cool that it logs that way, so like even if someone's doing this on like a regular transaction, like cash on, we can be able to see it then too. Do you think she had something to do with that bag? I can't prove it, um, but okay. it went missing, and that's what triggered the whole investigation. Okay. After watching clear footage of the manager stealing that's hundreds of dollars. right there, bro. Those sitting there and just accuse her of taking it just because of this situation going on. But I respect that, yeah from each register, it was time for officers to confront the employee about her theft. My name is Officer Kelly. I work for West Palm Beach Police Department. I'm sure you're aware of why we're here because they told me that they had heard spoken to you about it. Yeah, Okay. Um, but first off, before I start, I have to read you your rights. It doesn't mean you're under arrest. It just something I have to do before I ask you any questions, okay? Have you ever heard of the Miranda warnings? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to read them to you after each one that I read to you. I just need you to give me a verbal yes or no if you understand it. If you don't understand it, I'll go ahead and explain it to you, okay? All right. You have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions. Do you understand that? You have the right to the presence of a lawyer of your choice before you make any statement during any question. Do you understand that? <clears throat> you cannot afford a lawyer. You are entitled to the presence of a court-appointed lawyer before you make any statement and during any question. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Any statement can and may be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Any statement you make must be freely and voluntarily given. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. If at any time during the interview you do not wish to answer any questions, your privilege remains silent. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. I can make no threats or promises to induce you to make. She shouldn't seem fit to be no. Well, she the manager. Yeah, target manager. She not seem fit to be no manager, bro. You can't even follow the simple directions. He said for you to answer yes or no, and you. Mm -hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Like a kid that know they in trouble, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now most kids when they in trouble, they try to be kind of nice. It's almost yes, ma'am, no sir. Yeah, but she over here. Mm, mm, mm. You don't listen, bro. You don't follow no directions. Make a statement. This must be of your own free will. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna have you sign the back of this here. That states that I read you your rights and that you understand your rights. Does it say that on there? No. But you verbally told me. So I thought you know that that's what the signature was for. Yeah, that is what it was for. That's not an admission of guilt or anything like that. Just stating that originally. All right. So, as I spoke to your colleagues there, um, they basically are Joe, accusing you of, they're accusing you of taking an unknown amount of money at this point, um, somewhere close to the range of $1,400. Do you know anything about this at all? No. Okay. Um, how long have you worked here for? Almost three years. Okay, and you've had no other issues like this within the last three years, correct? Um, I noticed on camera that you were uh, responsible for going from register to register and taking the money out of the drawer. Is that a common practice of yes. yours? Okay. And what is included in that practice? What do, you, what do you do? Can you explain to me? So I am taking the money from the day out and putting new money for the next day. Okay. And when you take the money out, do you count it or anything like that? No. So you just so how would you take it out of the drawer? Just take it out, put it in the red or green bag, and then put the next bag into the. Okay. So you basically just go from each money slot, pull it out, place it in a bag, 
don't look at it or anything. Right. right. I fix it up if I need to, but. So if it's out of order or something, yeah. you'll, you'll fix it up? Okay. Would there be any reason why you would roll up money? No. Okay. So you wouldn't roll it into any kind of like money roll and then put a rubber band over it or anything? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when I was watching the video footage, it's pretty clear that it was that it's what you were doing is rolling it into a money roll, placing a rubber band over it, and then placing it on top of the desk. Why would you be doing that? You didn't do that? Okay. So why would the video footage show you doing that? You see where I'm at here, right? I'm watching a video footage that's unedited. Right, he was watching a vi video footage of you doing it, literally, and you over here to talk about something. I didn't do that. Come on now. The department store, though, there's no reason to accuse you of this. Well, I don't know if it's unedited, but I okay. have never done anything like that. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add to this? No. Okay. All right. You're the guy with a gun, the person who would do anything to protect the ones you love. But did you know you could go to jail for simply doing the right? So, Mr. Janine, based off the video evidence and uh, the statements made by your coworkers, I'm going to be taking you to jail tonight. Is there anything on your person that might poke or stick me? No. Okay, can you stand up for me, please? What is going to happen with my items? Uh, they're going to go with you to your jail. Okay. Can you take this jacket off? Um, that will be after processing. So once you get processed into the jail, processed into the jail, then you'll have an opportunity to call whoever you would like. So your jacket. That's their stuff. This is. No, no. But the oh, that's all. Yeah. Okay, the jacket's yours. Yeah. Chris, do you mind grabbing that? Yeah, that's right. Is there no other pleasant way to do this, like walking out of the store? Unfortunately, no, because uh, once you're in our custody, we have to place you in handcuffs in case you try to run away. We've had people run away and crack their head, so it's a liability thing. So we have to detain you like this, unfortunately. And you guys can walk me out of side doors, I'm assuming? If there is a side door available, yeah, you can do that. She said this shit embarrassing. I do not want to be seen and taken out of here in handcuffs. That's the least of your worries. You're a whole thief out here. You was embarrassed while you were stealing. So shit. That's not However, the cars are parked at the front. So. I, I know you guys know the fire emergency doors or whatever. I've actually never been to them, so I don't know. Especially we don't know how to get down the stairs either. Are you guys able to walk us outside? Because that's really embarrassing. embarrassing. Yeah. They're going to be embarrassed after they are proven wrong. It's kind of hard to like go against that video footage when they see it on video, like. And let's see. Okay. Okay. I'll just walk with you. Can when you guys lead us out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Got on SpongeBob boots, bro. Who boots squeaking like that, bro? Mm. Yeah. I ain't never seen a uh, Target whip. Oh, serious, bro. Like, that's crazy. Too cool. That's low key, man. I'm very slow. People just coming at you.
Mine just leaning against the parking. Oh. Could you lose on the left side? Left side? Yeah. Is it because it's caught in your hairband, do you think? Or is it... It's starting to begin. Let me take this. It's okay? Go ahead and have a seat. I'm going to reach around you and I'm going to put the seatbelt on, okay? Actually, I'll wait because I have a female officer that's going to come and do a thorough search on you. Um, I'm going to drive you to the back over there so we're not doing all this right up front, okay? The woman was arrested and sentenced to just 12 months of probation. She was ordered to pay $2,500 in restitution. To make matters worse, she was given another retail job just months after her conviction. Let us know what you think below. Everyone first. deserves hey. the fastest mo- It's crazy, bro. People that got stuff like that on their record tend to get jobs faster than somebody ain't. I don't know, bro. It'd be like that sometimes. And a motherfucker that quit multiple jobs always seem to get another job. <laughs> it's just what it is. Or get fired or whatever.